Tesla wants you to relax, but not too much. The car company just unveiled new autopilot features. Joining us now to break it down, Jeremy Rosenberg, head of digital at Allison and Partners. Jeremy, it's great to see you. Uh, this isn't actually a self-driving car, rather one with autopilot features. Uh, give us the highlights. Yeah, so they've started to introduce a lot of features that are going to allow people to uh, not have to actively drive uh, as they're going uh, from point A to point B. It's not going to take them entirely from point A to point B autonomously, but they'll be able to let the car steer, they'll be able to let the car do the acceleration and the brakes, and eventually they'll be able to let the car also change lanes uh, with regularity. But that, those are features that are just starting to come out for Tesla. Very interesting. Now, Elon Musk said the whole Tesla fleet is like a trainer to other cars. What do you think he meant by that? That's right. I mean, he's talking about having the whole fleet act as an active network. So all of the cars are going to be taking in data, sending it back up to servers, and then allowing other cars to be able to pull that data down and use it. So it's part of the mapping technology, but it also creates a, a you know maybe an issue of some privacy concerns for some consumers. Now, Tesla's Model S isn't the first self-driving car. Google has one, too, but mm -hmm. they're different. How would you say they are different? Well, I believe that they're working off of different technology, at least in the way that Elon's described it so far, um, and what's known about Google's self-driving cars that are out there uh, right now in test. They're using a LiDAR system, which is a slightly different set of sensors uh, than what Tesla's rolled out. And I think over time, there will probably be some uh, division amongst them, but also, uh, you know, they'll probably set up into a couple different camps of certain car fleets using one type of sensor detections and other car fleets using different types of sensor detections uh, in order to accommodate all of the self-driving features. Definitely a space to watch. Der Jeremy, thanks for joining us today. And for all of you watching, thank you. I'm Seema Modi. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.